14 year old girl suffered serious injuries because of a hairspray can left too close to a curling iron heater. She wants to be a doctor. Yeah, and she have a, her whole life ahead of her. Latina Johnson's beautiful 14-year-old daughter, Tanasia Brown, wants to be a doctor, but right now, a team of doctors is working to help the teen inside Children's Hospital. Tanasia has lost sight in one eye. Her eye socket is shattered. Her nose is broken. Muscle and bone inside her mouth are fractured. It happened Saturday afternoon as Tanasia was having her hair done. A can of hairspray left too close to a curling iron heater exploded right into her face. Yo, what up? Welcome to The Real Spill. I want you to imagine this. You send your 14 year old daughter out to get her hair done, okay? She got church tomorrow and you send her to a hair salon who you think is credible and she's getting her hair done and the hairstylist accidentally leaves a can of hairspray next to a curling iron heater and the hairspray gets really, really hot and boom, blows up in your 14-year-old face, causing her to lose her eyesight, break her nose, shatter her jaw, and severe burns. This happened to Tanasia Brown, okay, out of Detroit, Michigan. Tanasia is 14 years old, and right now she is recovering from an accident due to her hairstylist leaving a can of fucking hairspray next to a, <laughs> a heater, okay? It exploded in this child's eyes face, nose, and left this girl in the hospital. Her mother is very upset about it, as she should be. And when I got to Sinai Grace, they had my daughter in a trauma center, and I just bust out in tears. She tells me, I don't have insurance. I don't own the shop. I'm leasing the shop. So I say, well, my baby is here in the hospital. What are we gonna do? And that was good spirit. Um, she just keeps asking me, mommy, will I be able to see again? And um, I'm just confronting her to let her know you're gonna be okay and we're gonna get through this. This unlicensed hairstylist had a disclaimer, okay? And this disclaimer clearly stated that she is a student and she is clearly leasing her salon, okay? Of course, this is something that the mom of Tanasia Brown did not know because who reads disclaimers when you're trying to get your hair done, all right? But the hairstylist is very, 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 very unhappy about the situation. She's very sad about it. Um, she's showing a lot of uh, regret and remorse okay and uh, a lot of people were being very very evil towards this lady which it was an accident all right so um, it was clearly an accident but there's a 14 year old child that's in the hospital and probably finna lose her eyesight forever because of a mistake that an unlicensed hairstylist made okay now I'm sure there's going to be a heavy, heavy lawsuit, all right, going on with this case. I'm sure of it because there's no way that this 14-year-old have to live her life without her eyesight because you didn't know what you were doing. You know what I mean? I mean, that's pretty bogus, right? So, you know, I'm praying that uh, Tanisha gets better and I'm hoping that her eyesight comes back, man. I mean, that is a ill way to lose your eyesight, yo. Getting your hair done, you having fun, you enjoying life, and all of a sudden, boom. You know what I mean? It's just terrible. But anyway, yo, thank you for joining The Real Spill. It's another crazy story out of Detroit. I'm out of here. Later. Huh. Yo.